Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. When I talk about these things, I am implying that people have the right to choose their career path. They have the right to deviate from the original path they were on and choose a different industry, pick a different profession, and collaborate with different colleagues. The challenge of people today is to stop prejudging people. I'm pretty sure a couple women in the professional network that I reached out to yesterday came by for look-see. A looky loo is what police officers do, and they like to send their people off-duty in casual clothes to take a look at you. You probably don't recognize who they are because you're thinking that they're just a dad on a vacation with his kids. The truth is that doesn't usually happen a great deal in America is not true. But it doesn't happen as much as it used to. There are several reasons for that because we have a time constraint usually in our workplaces and we also know that people don't always take the vacations that they should. There's reasons for that but I'll talk about that probably in another audio cast. What I'm talking about right now is how you position yourself. What I'm also talking about right now is how you ruin yourself. You see, somebody might look at me and say, I ruined myself with my decisions, and the answer is no, I did not. I practiced my faith a lot, and in doing so, I could have gotten it out of balance, but the reality was my life was already a little bit in struggle and a little bit out of balance because I lost my life partner. Now, anyone in the age of majority who's actually partners with someone for seven or more years has an understanding of the impact of a life partner that you're working with day in and day out in your actual business and in your life. But people who don't have a partnership like that, who literally run separate lives from their partners and whatnot, may not have the same feeling, but I can't say that for sure. I'm not you, and you're not me. But what I can tell you is that productivity is often impacted when we go through a life transition that is a part of our private or personal life. Most companies are very aware of that, most EAP programs handle that, and most employees absolutely need that. In life, we have most of the time to tell our colleagues what's going on for us, and I certainly did that with a few respected people that I thought might get that. But you know what? They didn't, and they didn't care. So the sadness for me is not that they didn't care, the sadness for me is that I invested all that public time and energy in trying to help them to market their business better by providing them technology and marketing t training and tips. But the reality is, I guess it wasn't worth it. And yet they still came week after week for three years. So I guess the reality is that it was valued to them in a way of information, but the fact that I was the guy who put it all together wasn't as important to them. And for that, I'm sad. It's sort of the aspect of the devaluation and the dehumanization of a human being. I've already experienced that in my family of origin because I have siblings who thought they'd get involved with my things. I have siblings that thought they'd get involved with my love relationships and my friendships that whether they lasted or didn't and openly they did that in my 50s and I have to look at them and go who the fuck are you in my life? And when the fuck did you ever invite me over to dinner? And when the hell did you ever invite me to your kids games? And when the hell did you ever invite me to go out to a play? And when the hell did you ever come over to for dinner? Now, maybe that's my fault, but generally speaking, you made it pretty clear of how you felt about me, and you're showing it right now, because you're trying to bar me from my dying mother's bedside. You're not willing to tell me where my mother's being kept, and openly you tried to do that to me when my father was alive, but you knew one thing, Dad wouldn't stand for that.